Congratulations on your purchase of a Gen Chem kiln. Whether you bought an old kiln or a new kiln, today we're just going to review the quick setup and I'm going to demonstrate how to program your kiln. Uh, of course, all the operating manuals are available online at www.genkinkilns.com or www.ortonceramics.com. And if you follow the resources links, it will lead you to the model of controller that you have. If you're uncertain about the controller you have, if you look at the right hand side of the switch box on the top, there'll be a serial number. You can always contact Genkin Kilns directly at their website or at 800-329-5456 and reference that serial number to find out exactly what model you have and what uh, version of the software that's running. Today I'm going to demonstrate what is our pre-programmed controller and if the kiln's within the last two and a half years then you probably have one of these controllers. Uh, basic setup of this kiln is just simply uh, have about a foot of airspace around all sides either put it on the stand that was provided on the kiln or the base brick that was provided with the kiln and of course make sure that has enough room for you to open and close the lid properly. Keep in mind these kilns do get hot on the outside while they're operating and so you want to make sure nothing's coming in contact with the kiln including the power cord itself. So let's look at this kiln in its simplest format. Uh, you have the program key an up arrow and a down arrow. The program key is kind of the everything key. So let's turn the kiln on and as the kiln boots up it's going to tell us what current configuration it's in. LP or large piece. This particular controller has about 20 pre-programmed -pro firing schedules and I'm going to show you how to access all of them. Now when you look at the kiln after it boots up it should be displaying idle and whatever the current temperature is inside the kiln. If it doesn't say idle, if you keep hitting this program key enough times, it will return to the idle position. And that's also true if you get stuck and you need to find your way out, just keep hitting the program key and eventually it'll return to the idle position. From the idle position, if you want to change the configuration mode, you're going to hold the up arrow key and you can hold it in for about 10 seconds. At the end of 10 seconds, the display is going to change and it will be displaying CFG. You kind of have to remember that the block style uh, lettering on this display sometimes can make things appear to be different letters or numbers. This also would you know, represent a 6. And again, the operating manual will have all those abbreviations for you. Once it's in the configuration mode, one keystroke of the program button will get us into the program mode and now by using the up arrow key I can toggle between all of the available programs large piece, small piece, bead programs, precious metal clay programs, user programs which are user, divine, user defined programs that uh, you'll design your own firing schedule although keep in mind that every one of the configuration modes has available slots at the end where you can design your own firing schedule. And then back to large piece. Once I decided which program mode I want to be in, by hitting the program key to acknowledge that, it will return to the idle position. And if you want to check and make sure that you did that correctly, just simply turn the kiln off, turn it back on, and as it's booting up, it's going to display for you the current configuration that it's in, large piece, which is what we wanted. The large piece mode is relative to the size of the kiln. In other words, this kiln is 15 inches wide, so if I were to put in a 14 inch diameter circle, that would be considered a large piece for this kiln. The large piece programs are certainly the most conservative, and all of the programs in this particular uh, controller are conservative in nature and are designed so that you can be successful in, in just about everything uh, related to contemporary warm glass, uh, precious metal clay, or lamp working uh, with softer hard glass. So from the auto position we're going to use one of the pre-programmed firing schedules that are already in the kiln. 
by hitting the program key one time, it's going to display the last program that was used, and this is where I can select the program. Now this is a really important part of this. When you're selecting the program that is available in this uh, configuration, you can only use the up arrow key to toggle through. I'll demonstrate that now. So right now we're in program 4. One keystroke of the up arrow key uh, displays the fusing schedule, the tack fusing schedule, the slump program, the fire polish program, program 1, program 2, program 3, program 4, and then back to fuse. So in other words, if I was at program 2, and I wanted to get back to program 1, I would have to keep hitting the up arrow key and the up arrow key only to toggle all the way back through to program 1. But let's go ahead and use the fusing program schedule. In order to use the fusing program schedule, once the fusing program is displayed in the controller, by hitting the down arrow key one time, and if you'll notice that below the down arrow key it says review, it will review for you everything that the kiln is getting ready to do. Zero delay start, a rate of 200 degrees per hour to a temperature of 1000 degrees. It's going to hold there for 30 minutes. Rate 2 is full power to 1350 degrees. Hold there for 30 minutes. Rate 3 is 500 degrees to a temperature of 1425. Hold there for 20 minutes. Rate 4 is full power all the way back down to 950. Hold there for one hour. Rate 5 is 100 degrees an hour down to 700 degrees. Hold there for no time at all. And then it's going to end at the start position. This, it, this doesn't mean that the kiln's going to start. It means that it's ready to start. By hitting the program key, program start stop key one time, the kiln's going to come on and begin to start the fire schedule. It'll always display for you the current temperature inside the kiln. And during the hold, it's going to display for you the hold time remaining and the temperature inside the kiln. On all of these Gen Ken model kilns, there's always an additional pilot light. That light will blink off and on during the firing, and that's normal. This pilot light is a diagnostic tool for us. If this light is on when the kiln is in the off position, it stays on constantly uh, during your fire schedule, uh, then that's an indication that you probably should give the manufacturer a call, and we'll walk you through a quick diagnostic. If you want to stop your kiln, you're going to hit the program key one time. It's going to display stop, tell you the number of hours that it was running. In this case, there was no time at all. And then by one more keystroke of the program key, I'm again back to the idle position. If you hit the program key one time, and now again the fusing schedule is displayed, and you hit the program key one time, now you've actually entered into the fusing program itself. All of the pre-programmed firing schedules are dynamic in nature in that you can modify them as you go. Every kiln, every type of glass, kiln location, power supply, the receptacle, all of these things can make changes in the way your kiln operates and you may need to make small changes in the final temperature that you're reaching or the amount of hold time to reach the desired effect that you're looking for with your project. So now that I'm actually in the fusing program, I can use the program key to walk through this program and I'll uh, just quickly review this program again for you one step at a time and show you the abbreviations. RA is the abbreviation for rate per hour. So in other words, if we, uh, we have in there 200 degrees per hour, in two hours it will be at 400, in three hours it will be at 600, and so forth until it finally reaches the target temperature in that first segment. Now you'll notice that it returned to the idle position. Anytime you leave the kiln unattended for while you're programming for 25 seconds, it will return to the idle position. So I'm back at the fusing schedule. I'm going to hit the program key to enter that fusing schedule. And I'm going to just walk right through it. RA, rate per hour. Degree F is degree Fahrenheit. 
the number one designates the segment that we're currently in. So we're going 200 degrees an hour to a temperature of 1,000 degrees. HLD is the abbreviation for hold time. And again, we're in segment one. And hold time is in hours dot minutes. So this hold time is 30 minutes. Hit the program key to enter that value. And I have RA2. So this is our next rate. And we're heating at the full power rate. I'll enter that value. We're going to a temperature in Fahrenheit of 1350 degrees. We're going to hold there for 30 minutes. And you can see I'm just hitting the program key to enter the same value. The next rate is 500. If I want to change that to 510, I can just use the up and down arrow keys to modify that value. And then by hitting the program key, I would then make a permanent change in that until I change it again. 510 degrees an hour to a temperature of 1425. We're going to hold there for 20 minutes. We're going to heat at full power again, but back down to 950 degrees. Hold there for one hour. Heat at 100 degrees an hour, back down to 700. Hold there for zero time, and then we're back at the start position. One keystroke of the program key will turn the kiln on. If the program again, it'll say stop. If the program again, it'll say idle.